and then I have another question paper with me, uh, which uh, reads as follows. Every hour, a surface condenser processes 6,500 kg exhaust steam, which has a dryness fraction of 0 0.83. Air leakage into the condenser is at a rate of 1.2 kg for every 1000 kg of steam. The air pump suction pipe and the condensate have a steam of 31 degrees Celsius each. The barometer and vacuum gauge reading is uh, 760 millimeter Hg and 662 millimeter Hg respectively. The temperature of uh, the cooling water is increased by 21 degrees Celsius after it, passed, it passes through the condenser. The specific heat capacity of the water is, is 4.187 kJ per kg Kelvin. And R for the air is 0 0.88 kJ per kg Kelvin. They gave us the mass of the steam, the dryness fraction, and then they gave us the rate for the mass of steam and the mass of air, they gave us the barometer and vacuum reading. They gave us the mass, the, the temperature of the condensate. They gave us uh, the temperature at the suction pipe pump pipe, and then they gave us the change in temperature. They gave us the specific heat capacity, and then they gave us R. So, questions. Question number one. Number one. They say. Calculate the mass of cooling water required by the, conden by the condenser every minute. They are looking for the mass of water in kgs per minute. We know that heat lost by steam is equal to heat gained by water and then the formulas are mass of steam h2 minus h1 is equal to mass of water times specific heat capacity times the change in temperature mass of steam we have H2, we know that H2 is equal to H wet at T, the total pressure. And then we know that we can calculate the total pressure using this formula, the barometer reading minus vacuum reading, and then it's 101.325 divided by 760. The, our uh, parameter reading is 760 minus, okay, let me see, 760 minus 662, which is our vacuum reading, and then it's 101.325 divided by 6. Seven, seven, six, zero, seven, six, zero. This is zero. And then I got my answer as um, thirteen point zero six six, which it's you can say it's thirteen kilopascal. And then. Now we can now get the our H. Let's write our P here. Our P total. P total. It's equals to 13 kilopascal. And then now we can get the value of our H wet. H wet is equals to H G plus dryness fraction F H F G at 13 kilopascal so my values from the steam table i got them as hf i got 214 
plus the train instruction which is 0 0.83 and then my hfg at 13 kilopascal i got it at s 2380 and then i got my answer as uh, 2189 kilo joules per kg kelvin and then we are done with our h2 we are looking now for our h1 we know that h1 is equals to hf at the condensate temperature which is 31 so we go to our steam table look for 31 degrees Celsius and then we extract the value of FH corresponding to that temperature and then our FH I got it as 130 kilojoules per kg and then the mass of water that's what you are looking for the specific heat capacity we are given the change in temperature we are also given now we can make the mass of water the subject of the formula mass of water is equals to the mass of steam h2 minus h1 all by the specific heat capacity times the change in temperature and then i will carry on in this side the mass of steam 600 6500 times our h2 this is our h2 as 2189 minus our h1 this is our h1 130 divided by our specific heat capacity which is 4.187 times our change in temperature we are already given 21 but we know that our steam the steam our mass the our mass the mass of the steam is in hours it's kg per hour we are required to calculate our mass of water in kg per minute so we have to convert this uh, this steam into minutes by dividing it by 60 so we can add this 60 in this equation or you can just calculate without the 60 then after convert it into minutes it's up to you but the answer must be the same so i got my answer from here as 253 7.3 Five one kg per minute. So if you have calculated your answer and didn't include this, after getting that answer, you must divide by 60. I think it's better if we do, do it like this. Then we have our second question, question number two. And then question number two says that calculate the capacity of the air pump in meter cubed per minute so we can erase this this we are done with once the capacity of the air pump we already know that when we are dealing with steam when we are dealing with air we will be using the ideal quest equation which is mrt as equals to pv they say calculate uh, the capacity of the air pump in cubic meters per minute. We know that they are looking for V. So our M, we will get our M using this rate that they gave us. They say uh, for every 1000 kg of steam, we will have 1.2 kg of air. We know that the mass of air in this system the mass of steam in this system now is 6500 kg we don't know what is the mass of air and then we cross multiply 
got that our x which is the mass of let me put it as m our m mass of uh, a it's equals to cross multiply divide divide what what 1.2 times 6500 divided by 1000 and then I got my answer as seven point eight uh, kg per hour. But the question says the capacity of air pump of the air pump in meter cubed per minute. So it's wise that we convert it in this stage and then divide by 60 we will get our m as uh, 0 0.13 0 0.13 kg per minute so that when we are using this value at the end there will be no need for us to convert it again to minute because now our mass is already in minute so we have our m our r will be given our t we are given our t uh, this as our t did one and then we know that when we are using this equation ideal gas equation our t's our temperature must always be in kelvin and then i got it as a uh, 304 kelvin and then our pressure we already know that the pressure that we will be using here it's not the total pressure but it's the pre the partial pressure of air this is at 30 at, at 31 degrees Celsius and then I got it as uh, the partial pressure for steam at 31 degrees Celsius I got it as 45 so this we already know it's 13, 13 kilopascal. This is what we are looking for, plus 4.5. And then P, P A, that's equals to 13 minus 4.5. That's equals to 8.5 kilopascal. And then now we have everything we can calculate for our V. Our V is equals to MRT divided by P, which is equals to, or oh, we substitute our M, 0 0.13, 0 0.13 times our R, 0 0.8, 0 0.288. Our T, 304. And then our pressure, 8.5, 8.5. And then I got my V as 1.339 cubic meters per minute. And that is what they have asked from us. So that's basically the end of my question, the end of the questions that I had. And uh, that's basically the end of our lesson today. Hope this lesson will be of help to you. Uh, please don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with others. From me to you, my name is Tepo. I will see you in the next lesson.